a single oh, match a for single match each of the tournaments. tournaments. So if NIP are able to get a, another win here, to be able to get out of groups, it would be such a big victory for not just them, but also the region overall. And, and remember that this is only the second best team. Look at DRX though, they're going and for this. that classic play. This is what they did on the bonus round yesterday. It's explosive. Already the dash straight up into the top of Nest. A bit of preparation though, Shandy was ready for it and he shuts that down. You would love to catch him just before he plants though. The spike is down and now you've got these classic post plant setups. Look at the positioning of Mako all the way back with double snake bites. He's already fired one off. This is chaos though. Already you can see the NIP were kind of ready for this one, but of course I set up in kitchen, RB. Collects two, just needs to try and hold it down in mid zest. The shot's eventually finding their mark, and with the snake bite on top of it, it's an easy pick off there for Stacks. It's such a cool round. It's I love that that's cool the round. opener. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to refresh sure, people's sure. memory on what had happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here we go then. A bit of weaponry online here, and I will see if they can do any damage. John with the sheriff. And it is this stack onto the A site. This is a troubling scenario right now for DRX if they just run into this one without clearing the corners and using utility to be able to work their way in. But it looks like they won't be having too many issues regarding that. The wall is going to go up as well, which means a safe plant for them. Remaining. No problem whatsoever. Uh, they do take away the one, but yeah, getting the plant down, I think if they can clean this up, they should be looking pretty tidy. With the second round on the board. Besney's trying to figure out how he can have impact in this round. Got the little heal up. But there are just so many players holding all sorts of angles. Not going to be there for them. And now a bit of a soft reset. Okay. Something wonky in there. We sure. already saw it as a pistol round. So what have they got for us here? Looks like an all-in piece towards A. You got the Spectres in hand, but now it's the buy round, obviously. For NIP, a couple of rifles that they're working with. And actually, I think this was a read on the same play. Look at Shandy's position on top on the B site. I think they expected the same kind of strat to be coming out because DRX ran it in the bonus sure. against Zeta Division. And now they've had to pull that rotate back over. John joining the rest of the players on A. Kawazin's going to use his drone just to get a bit of information. Obviously, it was flashed off as well. And it is this slow siege currently for DRX. The wall goes up, but the spam, I believe a portion of it broken, but not the one that counted. Not the one they needed. The spike's still going to be Going down here. A nice kill. Kawazin finding that one off the RB. Double shot looking dark. for a little bit more. But Brent, yeah, this is now what Bala is was the post man. This is where the post plant start to come into play. Double shock dart, double snake bite, yeah. KO fragment grenade as well. Does NIP push forward? Do they take those positions away? Oh, How does Mako still win? Oh. Mako tries to go for a quick little two tap swing around the corner. Zest now. Left alone in a 1v3 with Shanti taking that high ground position. Not a problem for them. NIP with a clear understanding of how to disrupt those post plant setups. Yeah. All the utility coming in, only does. Now, I keep a couple of these rifles rolling into the next round here, but DRX, obviously, that last round was their bonus, so. Now, I'm, I haven't seen that recon dart lineup before, and I was wondering where it was landing when they ran that one against Zeta Division. So it looks like, I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why he threw the shock dart at the beginning there, but it's a, it's a recon dart designed to flush out the right-hand side for any players holding, you know, up on the high ground or in a cheeky one-and-done over by there. I see a lot of pings on them up there from DRX. Looking like they want to try and get something going over towards the A site. All the players leaning over towards it, but still a minute on the clock, a lot of time. And while all this is going on, that Sage Wall has not been broken. No, it hasn't. And besney has been putting that one up frequently at the beginning of the rounds. Mm -hmm. So that's certainly something to keep in mind when we're thinking strategically here, what information do NIP have access to? B is not a worry for them at the beginning. Well, they actually didn't get any information off of the initial drone from Kawazin, and now here comes the hit from DRX. The drone let them in initially as well, pushing the players back. Look how good so that slow orb is. Off. Yep. Slow orb denies any sort of plays, just trying to push deep into them. And again, it's the same Sage Wall, but this time the players, obviously NIP deciding to play all the way back here for this retake. Mako's got a flank coming back through mid, too. Not it's playing the critical. classic post plant oh lineup. Oh my goodness, playing close up. It's going to be the trade. Buzz getting the one. John eventually finding the other one. And here comes Mako around the back. Yeah, He's going to start to get an angle. Everything right now with the diffusers being stuck. They're going to be able to get the half here. Can DRX try and disrupt it? And the answer is yes. That's a post plant lineup as well from that one area when he looked. <laughs> and that adds, again, another thing for NIP to start considering. You play aggressively on your defense, and suddenly we're wrapping all the way through mid. Sure. Layers upon layers from DRX. Yeah, 
Now it's a bit of a half buy once more. Drone for a drone. Zesk gets a bit of info here, and this is a fast flank. Two of the players from NIP, that's Shandy. And Besni just looking for any sort of picks that he can possibly get. Now with the Sheriffs in hand, it's a possibility, but it's being covered! Oh my word, Shandy. A little bit of a whiff there with a shorty, not able to get the kill he was looking for. Carl and Zine doing a decent job though, punishes stacks. And they're trying to break the wall, this is going to be an incredibly difficult round to win. But we've seen some fantastic thrifties so far in this tournament. Surely not. Okay, 1v3. With the post plant utility as well. Double shot cast still alive for Zest, he's just used one of them. Just does not look likely. B&J probably looked to do a bit of damage. He gets the rifle in hand, but yeah, even if Arby didn't get that kill, the swing timing would have been impeccable. So, number one. No contact required. He's just sending it. Yeah. Needs a bit of coverage as well from any players that might be on belt, but there we go, straight away. Pops it on top of 410, so that's going to be blocking a large portion of the site. Enemy tag. I'm going to be using... I mean, I don't believe he saw anybody there, but he actually ended up guessing with the tag anyway, and found the mark. Now Bez needs to be careful though, because it is that aggressive B main play. DRX realized, okay, we've been hitting A for most of these rounds. Let's but change they, it up a little bit. But Bren, they've used the Viper wall on the fake. Here's a fight in mid though. Oh, Zest managing to get the better Ooh. end of Cohen Zine. And the Sage will go down, doesn't actually get broken. A piece of it does. RB so low right now. Viper's pit off the back, and that is gonna just stretch over to the spike. John wants to play aggressive. He's just jumping straight in to his own demise. Uh, that's the John I know and love. He, <laughs> he goes for that one. Uh, you can definitely argue that you need a play to be made in that situation, though, because you're in a 4v5 situation, fighting into Viper's pit when they've got all of the post-plant setups already. It's going to be so difficult for NIP here. Buzz is just watching for this lurk off the side of yellow right now. That, that wasn't meant to happen. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it is just to save. You can see the players of NIP already exiting this. Yeah. And this is the trouble with DRX, is they are so good at the push and pull of this map and being able to set up and use all of that utility for the post plants that you often find yourself, you've got no time to spare to even try and retake and try and push off. And it felt kind of like they just ambled in with a sage wall. That's an odd buy here for NIP, but... They took three rifles into the round, so everyone's just trying to buy up around them. Shandy goes for the very early updraft there before DRX can hear him and floats up down on top. Recon dart broken from the rest of his team as well. And DRX make it feel like they're running a bit of a default, but it's still 120 on the clock. This is a really oh. early take of A. And I gotta suspect this, right? I mean, this is the classic ranked playbook. Rainer playing all the way up close, and yeah, the discipline's there. Now John realizes, okay, I'm about to get pincered up from top belt. Swing coming through, a bit of coverage from PJ. The rifle fire is enough to just push them away for but a moment, so John does escape with his life. But the drone coming in, though, DRX, I don't think they want to be taking their foot off the gas. John may have been suppressed by the knife there, not exactly sure, just dancing around on the radius of it. Wall goes out, same kind of wall. <gasps> RB! Uh, snake bite. He got vulnerable. him down, yeah, and this is a bit of a difference maker. Previous rounds, the wall wasn't really broken in time and the plant wasn't really pushed off. But now 30 seconds remaining, it's do or die for them. Quick flash comes through. Surely NIP, they can't be doing this to them. The crossfire set up from the top of it. The dart is impeccable as well. 22 seconds left and still the spike, no signs of it coming down. It's up to Mako on the flank, the res comes through. He finds the picks anyway with him and Zest, they combined it. And Shanti's on the flank, a similar kind of play to the yeah, one that Mako made, left. but now they know where he is. Fight and this seems left. so much more fruitless, so much less fruitful than what Mako was able to achieve with his push down mid. Both times that has delivered incredible results for them. But it got sticky. I mean, this is, this is looking like a 6-1 kind of situation, but DRX, they at least had to think about how they were approaching that with the post plant being... Uh, delayed, stopped for a moment, mm -hmm. and Jandy is just going to <laughs> save this. Breaks his ankles a little yeah, bit. Yeah, don't, don't worry. He'll get that back on the next half or next next round. <laughs> don't write him off just yet. <laughs> That's what I mean. He needs to survive. Actually, we have seen some incredible comebacks in the previous games of this tournament. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking to, I mean, you don't have to cast your mind very far back. The Liquid Zersia game had some insane leads like this, a six-one on Icebox that went all the way back to being six-six. Comfortable. They'll always plant in the same spot. They're always using the same knife. You, you can predict that and throw good utility against it. That B 
three main pressure. Fast off the rip. And again, another bit of a, a strange buy because they've just been taking these rifles into the rounds with the, the players of NIP surviving with them, but they can still do a bit of damage, even with just the marshals and the sheriffs and whatnot. Marco is just waiting for this push from John. John, the only player... Oh, well, I guess they've got a couple of people actually with rifles in this round. But he is certainly one of the people they're expecting to get the job done. The RX on the approach. Again, not stifled too badly, but this time Cowancy pops the ultimate, and RB okay. has been vulnerable. I mean, that's good. The Hunter's Fury will push them away, but... Marco catches you the lurk. Still, the pick going to be gained for it, but the Resurrect was available. Now Buzz is caught unaware. The Viper War, maybe just the comm wasn't being made that it was going down. He thought he was still safe, just hanging at danger there. But because of how early DRX take all of this control in the rounds, towards B, towards A, they still have 40 seconds on the clock to be able to pivot. And there is no one on A to receive them. Marco's still in a position where he can have massive impact here. Left. And a bounce recon lets them know there's no one pipes and there's no one mains. Yeah, they get so much information that no one's going to be holding on the side here. So they get the plan off NIP. They're going to be able to contest this one. Slow Orb gets sent out, and it is going to be the fast retake. They want to try and disrupt this as, as quickly as they can. He does find the one. He knows the players are on the side, but he is being pincered right now from mid still. The spray down, a quick little reset of the aim. And four kills for him, RB. Just flexing on him, I guess. Sick play by RTs, even when he's on Sage. 13 yeah. and 2 right now. Popping off. This would never die. This is the same one he gets sent all the way back. Clears a bit of that B main area. Toxin screen down. Marco's just been watching for these pushes constantly. I think this time they are going to be more cautious of it though, just because of the blade storm. They know that Shandy's playing with it. They might be trying to set up some, some little play to try and push him into a deep position in mid or. Stax just used his zero point to clear out Nest as well. Mm. So they know there's nobody pushed up on A defense. Of course, they could be pipes or trying to find a timing after the knife, but for now, they feel like they've repelled any early round aggression. And with a minute on the clock, now is the time in the round to go and start taking some space. Definitely a more patient, respectful approach, though, from DRX here. Yeah. They're really cautious about the full buy with knives online. Now the drone gets sent out here for DRX. Leading the team in with the flash. You catch the one player, and that was a tag as well. Hunter's Fury. Zest, he's been good for it in the past, but a quick skip and a hop around the corner. He's going to be safe for the time being. And while all that was going on, a bit of diff there from the Jet players coming through. They break the wall, and DRX being punished for taking their sweet time. And this able to time, get off the safe plant. The spike does not go down yet, Bren. That's the massive, crucial di difference. How do you even retrieve that thing? I mean, Mako's still got his wall, but everybody on NIP knows exactly where it is. It's going to take some heroics. 15 seconds remaining. NIP are playing this. So far back, they don't want to give up any sort of player advantage. And yeah, as soon as the plant noise comes through, the swing timing from all of them, they collapse onto DRX, knowing that they had no other choice. Same kind of setup here from Zest, using the recon dart to clear out one of those areas. B and J doesn't even break it, so that gives them full three pulses of info and allows Buzz to push up very deep. Anybody in the mid-round re-clearing this area is certainly going to run into his phantom. And all of that has started to pull players away from A. DRX are just opening up the map for themselves with how they play this early round. Yeah, just cutting the noise out. They make it so much easier for them to actually get the spike down by manipulating these rotations early. Now, Kawazin is using his drone at the minute mark. He does this a lot so far in this half, and he just wants to try and clear a lot of these positions. But yeah, I mean, he actually does spot Mako there, but it's usually the only player he spots. And Mako's going to be playing there no matter whether no they're matter going what. A or so, whether they're going B. Exactly, so it doesn't give any indicator of which side they might be hitting. And it seems like as the spike returns to B, this is actually going to be the right read from NIP. The Brazilian team, Shandy at the IGL, They've got the read here. And this smoke the BNJ's got down is amazing, but it's immediately going to be neutralized. Yeah, can't use it. 30 seconds left. Not with Stax popping his ultimate. He's pressing everybody around him, and there is Mako catching the player through the lurk. The plant, he gets two. Oh, that's unbelievable, actually. That's unbelievable. RB just needs to try and hop away. Now we see it. A little tap there. Onto the spike, they realize that nobody's actually quite on it, but the important fact of being the DRX, they got the player advantage and they have the utility, and Mako still alive, lurking through this mid area. 
going to be any sort of heroics. Another. They eventually take care of him, but not before he's done the damage. It's going to take more than that, though. John has to pop off three kills. The quick dismiss, but doesn't know where Stax is. Right round the corner. And Stax wins it out for his team. Much closer than the previous round. Came into this tournament throughout their year. They're the only team in the tournament that have more first deaths than they do first kills. They tend to give away those opening engagements quite a lot. DRX are incredible at that. And they are so drilled, DRX, in terms of being able to clear all of this. Not giving away any of those first kills. Making sure that they methodically clear these areas. You can see the knife now. The flash pops around. John was trying to reposition, but caught with his trousers around his ankles, I think. That was just pre-firing straight through the wall. This was a force-up as well by NIP. They did not really have the money to be doing it, but of course, desperation considering the round score. Spike still not down. Shandy could do some magic with this one. Just working his way up so carefully, but he is getting spotted. And the Viper's immediate pit. reaction is to pop the Viper's pit in a 5v3. One DRX have no remaining. intention of letting an IP get a round, a crumb, a sniff, nothing. Spike's still going to be pushed off though, BMJ. Ends up using that Viper's Pits, but all the damage, all the utility again. He can't even see it, barely. Snake bite, nade, everything just getting popped off. Nah. And DRX are one and one this year on it. The only team they've beaten is Zeta Division. I was looking at that result and thinking, well, we don't really know how DRX actually, how good they actually are. True. And for NIP to be down 2 9 here speaks, I think, to a chasm of a difference between these two teams. And at this point, final round of the half, you are looking at, I don't want to say desperation, but you're, I mean, you're definitely getting close if you're NIP. Shandy's just holding up close there. He's only going to be able to get the Spectre in his hands. Kawazin again, not getting too much information as the drone gets broken. And once more, the time ticks down. DRX, they're so ready for all of the aggression that NAP might throw at them. But this round, they've got people pushed up into more unconventional spots. Haven't seen Shandy or BNJ in these kind before, of positions really. before. But we haven't seen DRX just contact push down mid. Final round of the half, and they are doing something completely different. The flash comes through, Buzz just pops out of it. It says, hello, goodbye. And it's going to end up being a very similar play to the original pistol but with much more of a contacty feel to the beginning of it. Really difficult to get the read there that they were going for a mid to be. And look at the position of Besney. RB Besney. in, the, in Besney. their sport. Besney needs this pick. He's not aiming properly. Michael's just had everything. And again, RB's going on a magical oh adventure as Buzz slaughters everyone in oh this. Oh my goodness. Uh, th mate, look at this. It's disgusting. There is just no hope in that round disgusting. for NIP. A 10 to How they might try and play and disrupt the way that they like to play. Uh, all around, but now it's a new round here. The pistol round of the half gets switched, and NIP have got to come up with the win in this round. That's incredible disrespect by Stax. He just grabs the orb, just taking the orb with no teammates to even help him. <laughs> That's <laughs> madness. He now rotates up to rafters as NIP just completely silently contact him, and they have got in for free. Stax was waiting up top there. Now Zesty does have a bit of a lineup for this rebound off the top. Shock darts to see if he can catch many unsuspecting players. But the way this wall is set up as well, it's so annoying to try and break here. Lovely shock dart. Yeah, Breaks that one. Takes the full amount of that. He's going to get healed back up to 100, but this wall is so annoying to get through. And there's a couple of NIP players on the other side of it. You can see just a little gap in the bottom there for them. Buzz though coming through, dashes right around the corner. No way! No way does he do that, man. And just two players left standing. BJ and Kawazin can even do it. The quick little right click, Buzz goes down. But still, the, re the defuse just being stuck in front of them. Disgusting round from DR. Uh, North America only breaks a single block of Sage Walls yeah, and tries to piece of through it. it. Now, DRX have thought about a lot of a lot of different aspects of their game. Very intelligent team. Very cool. NIP. Oh, they, they have force to force up to this one. Yeah, of course I mean, they do. Of course they do. You've got to go for it. And Buzz, he really got away with murder in that previous round. Drone's gonna tag just onto the one player, Buzz. Trying to get out of there. Up draft and a dash. To escape, stacks though more than ready. Throws the flash off to the side, banks it. Spike planted. Gonna be rewarded with that pick off onto John. Still, Besney, one of those shots. 
Zesto has worked himself into a deep angle, oh, oh, oh. and yet he still continues. He's rattling it off. That's Only the sheriff in hand, but Mako now, 1v3. Is he still going to be trying to play this oh, one? For close play, he knows that one of the players on 410 could be dropping off, and as he was at the back of the side. So many variables to consider now in this one. Just a quick play around the corner. Crossfire, and IP not letting him get comfortable. And that's finally another round to climb. And look at this gamble stack from TRX. All five of them are B main. And it's exactly where NIP are trying to go. Oh, no way. And the Jiggle Peak, just one of the players making noise. It might be oh, unsuspecting for them. The dart does the come dart through. The dart sees Buzz, and that is exactly buzz, the player man. you expect to see there. So that doesn't give the stack away. Drone comes through, it does force the swing. But at least two of the players still there dealing with the players. And now, surely how are they getting those picks? Oh my goodness, Mako trying to escape away. Shanti's up in the air <laughs> with the right click. <laughs> I love it. Oh my hey, if you're going to go out, you go out and start. Take setup over towards B on the pistol round. And now they've swapped it up again. Obviously Get went for the gamble stack round two. Sure. And now Mako's actually holding on A. Bit of a disarray for them. Shanti does have the blade storm, but immediately it's removed from him. Look at his shock darts. Forcing him away off the top of the tube. And Shandy's looking down there to avoid his head hitbox from being exposed. But it doesn't stop him from getting tagged by a bit of the shock dart damage. NIP, though, have done well here, I think, at applying pressure over to Buzz. But he swings with the flash. Can't find a pick out of it. Yeah. NIP escape unscathed there, and maybe Buzz thinks about repositioning. It's interesting as well. I think John heard footsteps, and he's the one who's just lurking, trying to catch it in mid, but... Buzz falling. How often have we seen this Mako uh, John battle? The date? No, oh, the date! It's, it's, what are you doing, Besney? Just tanking it, thinking he'd survive. The plant's disrupted now. Still 50 seconds on the board, and John, he's got to come up huge. One more Leer available to him. Pops it off to the side. The team, though, squeezing them. DRX feeling pressure from every single angle, but Zest. Cool Karma collected. Only getting the one BJ flashed up. Just trying to survive, but DRX, they come up with the round anyway. And RB, the hero of the moment. A couple of, uh, couple of inches back, you know, he's safe there if it was around the corner, but no. Shandy's going to pick up the operator here, looking towards B. Oh, sorry, looking towards A here, as the rest of his team goes for a fairly, fairly quick push. And that looks like Mako suspected it. They're so aware. And that Viper orb has not landed where he was intending. Oh, that drug needs to die. Eventually, it does. Mako drops the Viper's pit. It's going to land just at the, the base of the site, so no elevation in play. Still, John, OK. The Vandal spray down eventually, he's rewarded with that one pick off. And RB's a big one to get. And with a minute left, they could decide to go elsewhere, but they've already committed that Viper Wall. You can see DRX are already anticipating the rotate. Buzz, Stacks taking up their positions, spreading out the defense a little bit. And this is why it can be a good idea to just cut noise and re-hit the site, because you'll generate yourself a, an advantage. They see Shandi. You expect him to be the tip of the spear. I mean, maybe not when he's operating, but I think that is probably gives them an idea that it's a re-hit. I mean, it's a big indicator, though, if Shandy is the one who's killing that with his off. 30 seconds left. They might be pivoting away. Maybe, yeah. I mean, that would be that would be a pretty smart read, but it's only Buzz over by B right now. Yeah. And that means he's not hes not one of those players with utility that can deny the plant, but he is okay. just going to take the face first off. Sure. Quick little shot to the head, not a plant. Needs to go down. John! Oh, he lets go of it. Doesn't opt to do it, wants to take the duel anyway, and he's given TRX a perfect in. And this could be the round Shandy's left alive. The solo player, but shut down once more. 